hey guys welcome or welcome back to my channel today we are going to be talking about lessons that 2022 taught me well, i have a book here so i'm going to be reading some of the stuff from here <coughs> first of all a lot of people film this video in the beginning of january at the very very beginning of january or in december and i'm just filming it now because i didn't have my camera with me over break where i was with my family so yeah i'm filming it now the first thing I think that I learned, or the first thing that I know for a fact that I learned in 2022 is shut up. The way that like this one is really resonating with my spirit, like shut up, stop speaking. Okay, but there's different phases, there's different ways, there's different attributes in shut up. So the first part of that is stop gossiping. I think that girls, I just like the, the female nature. We just like to talk about other people. <laughs> we love to chit chat about other people and other people's lives. And we just love to do all that. And I don't, I know for a fact that it is such an unhealthy attribute. I've seen how messy it can get. I just want to definitely take that into consideration in this new year. Like just stop talking, stop gossiping, stop. Just stop it, you know, cause that doesn't do anything for you. Gossiping does nothing, absolutely nothing for you. So yeah. Um, The second part of Shut Up that I wanna really, 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 ugh, that is a huge lesson for me is stop complaining. I feel like I'm someone who complains but still gets things done. I don't even wanna complain at this point. I don't wanna talk about my problems. I don't wanna vent. I don't wanna vent to anyone anymore. Or I just feel like that doesn't help you. It doesn't help you. It doesn't get you where you need to be. Complaining and chit-chatting is just not gonna do it. It's not gonna do it. It is not gonna do it. Obviously it's gonna be easier said than done in doing that. However, I just wanna take that into consideration and just let go of complaining. And then the last attribute of that is, I feel like there's so many attributes in regarding like shutting up, that, like a lesson that I learned. However, another attribute is stop belittling, stop belittling, stop belittling myself with my mouth like there's a power in our words there's a power in what we say about ourselves and we're always saying negative things about ourselves it doesn't do anything and i feel like you know you're speaking them into existence so be very cautious with what i say i definitely want to be very cautious with what i say about myself in 2023 i want to speak life into dead situations i want to speak life into my life i want to speak goodness and mercy and grace and a lot of beautiful things and beautiful attributes rather than speaking negativity um about myself and i want to speak life into like other people as well so that's another thing like when it comes to like, the gossiping and all that done with that done with that so yeah, that's something I definitely, I don't know. Yeah, so the second thing that I believe that I learned, and also I forgot to say this, everything that I learned or I'm in my list right here is in chronological order in, what, in how I feel like I learned them in 2022. I feel like I learned that it's best to keep myself, keep my mouth shut in the beginning of 2022. So this is in chronological order. Just wanted to say that. So the second part, the second lesson I think I learned in 2022 is boys are stupid. Oh my gosh, they are the dumbest people to ever exist. They're not smart. They're not like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Like they're not smart people. We're, they're not, and I don't wanna stress too much about this cause I'm bigger and better. Like I moved on in life, but you know, like boys are very, very not smart and stop wasting your time on them. Stop giving so much energy to the male species because they all, all they bring is stress and weight gain. All they bring is stress and weight gain. However, even though I said boys are stupid, but men, men are smart. Stop dealing with boys, get with a man. I think that pretty much when it comes to this lesson, I just feel like I used to, like I said this in my high school advice video, I used to be a little boy crazy. I used to be a little boy crazy, okay? And I will say, you know, sometimes I feel like I found, like I used to put my validation, like boys, I used to put my validation in men and if they call me pretty or not, like the fudge, why would you even do that? Why would you even do that? So yeah, like we should not, under any circumstances, put our worth or validation with the male species. They are not smart. They bring nothing to the table, like, ugh. 
yeah but also like i also want to say that one lesson that i did learn in 22 is that boys are dumb and boys are stupid but there are a few good ones that's a huge lesson i also learned in 2022 that sometimes we just subgroup them in this like oh i hate all men men are bad but sometimes there are very few very few that are good and great and wonderful so not all men are stupid actually hold on yeah i think i think i agree with that statement hold on let me think yeah not all men are stupid yeah the third lesson i think that i learned um i would have to say that not to go against your character or your morals for the sake of impressing people i'm gonna elaborate just a little bit more about that but like in 2022 i went through a lot of like a little bit of sad i went through some sadness there was a there was a season in my life that i was very very sad there was this these particular people who I feel like I was changing myself in order to like impress them. College sometimes does that. College really does like be very careful with the people that you invite into your life in college because you know, I grew up in a very Christian household. I don't smoke, I don't drink. I, you know, I don't cuss. I don't do these things. And you are who you hang out around. And I found myself changing and fluctuating just a tad bit. I got back on track, thank you Jesus. However, that I fluctuated just a little bit because you know, that's what everyone else was doing. Everyone else was doing it, so I wanted to do it. And I got back on track. We never, we actually, honestly, I didn't really got off of track. I thought of getting off of a track. So I didn't really change myself. However, I was strongly considering doing things that I was, I never thought of doing. The fourth thing that I think that I, I know for a fact that I learned at 22 is that it's okay to be alone. I say that it's okay to be alone is, the reason I say this is because on my 19th birthday, I prayed that prayer. And I know, I don't know if you guys know that prayer, but there's a specific prayer that has to be very careful how you pray it. I was like, God, remove everyone in my life that's not supposed to be in it. And a week later, I'm talking about my birthday is the 19th. A week later, March 28th, I had zero friends. I had zero friends! It was so, 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 so hard. Because one thing that I know for a fact that I do that I just really want to just let go of is that I put a lot of validation in relationships hence why the thing that i thought about men i put validation also the amount of friends that i had i feel like you know zero friends means that you're unlovable zero friends means that you're not who everything that god said that you were so then i was so miserable i was miserable i was so miserable and then and then god reminded me he was like babes babes like do you remember that you prayed this prayer like do you remember when you told me on your birthday god remove everyone in my life Who's, who's not supposed to be in it. And God took everyone that had to be, that had to go. He took everyone who was not gonna make it into the next season. At first it was very ha hard, it was very sad. I was so, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I was, ugh. But I got through it, I got through it, I got through it, and we give God all the glory. My next lesson, or the next thing that I think I know for a fact that I learned in 2020 term is consistency and discipline will be the best thing that you do for yourself. And I want to go get a quick little story time. So, you know, 2022, um, I lost those people in my life and it caused me to be very sad and doubted myself and blah, 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 blah. I decided to go out, start going to the gym because, you know, like, there's nothing. I wanted to, like, kind of, like, take out my stress at the gym because I was so sad. I was so sad and I felt like I always had to be in there to, like, feel happy and it became very unhealthy it became very unhealthy because i was like oh, y'all this is so sad thinking about this but i was like maybe if i'm skinny i'll be liked because at this time in my life i was doubting myself and doubting my worth and you know and oh my gosh i don't want to cry oh my gosh that's so sad i'm sorry but i used to say that about myself okay wait hold on because i'm about to cry hold on okay hold on okay god wait hold on i was like I was like, maybe if I'm skinny, I'll be liked. And that really, that was my motivation. Like the skinny you are, maybe you can get more friends and blah, 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 blah. And God really had, God convicted me um, a lot. He was like, girly pop, what are you talking about? What are you, what? What are you doing? And I definitely had to, 
Whew, that's crazy. I definitely had to reevaluate the reason why I was at the gym. I was going to the gym in a very unhealthy way. I was, you know, I wasn't, I didn't love myself unconditionally. I was like, if you are this and that, you're gonna love yourself. And I switched, I'm happy that I switched my, I had a prayer, a very deep prayer. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna reevaluate and I'm gonna switch the reason why I'm in the gym. And when God kind of had a one-on-one -on -one thing with me about that, it was super, super exciting. Oh my gosh, it was super, super exciting. And the gym was not an unhealthy thing for me. I truly began to love it and I enjoyed it. And you know, I like to say that I'm a fitness girly pop. Uh -uh. Okay, so the sixth one, oh my gosh, this one's so, ooh, this one. Okay, so the sixth lesson I think I learned is be nice to your mom. And I say this cause, you know, sometimes like, knowing who my mom is and now knowing how most African mothers are, like they are so extra, they're sometimes a little overbearing and you just, without even realizing, you just like grow like this, like this unintentional animosity because they've been so extra and so much our entire lives. But as I'm growing up, I know for a fact I'm gonna be the same. Like as I'm growing up and becoming a woman, I just know that like everything's out of love. And I definitely, I, I've been asking and praying to God. I'm sorry y'all, I keep on looking at my window, but I'm just like people watching right now. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Um, Yeah, like everything she does is out of love. And I one, one of my main things that I wanna do in 2023 is appreciate her more and love her more and just not take everything out of like, she's like, she's always come there. Moms, one thing about my mother is that she's absolutely obsessed with me. And sometimes I'm over here like, girl, like chill out. You are not just vibing right now, like just vibe. She's just sometimes so, so infatuated that I just feel a little like back up, shawty. I just feel like my mom, I, I wanna appreciate her more and, you know, change my perspective regarding her. I feel like, you know, sometimes I just be getting mad or just irritated because she is sometimes, she's a very extra Nigerian woman. And I be a little like, you're doing way too much. You're doing a lot. But I wanna appreciate her more in 2023. I'm also becoming a woman now, and I just know for a fact that I'm gonna be the same when I'm a mom. Like, I'm gonna be infatuated in, in all of my children, and yeah. This is kind of like lesson number 11, is take your relationship with God seriously. Yeah, I don't know how, I don't know how else to say it. I don't know what, to, I don't know. I really don't know how you gotta understand it, man. Like, take your relationship with God as seriously as you can, because you know, like, you gotta stop joking around, y'all. You gotta stop joking around. Get right with him. I'm so serious. Like, I really don't, have, don't know how to say it. I don't know what language to speak. I don't know if I speak French, Japanese, Mandarin. Like, really get right with him. It's not a joke anymore. It's not a joke anymore. Um, please take him seriously. Like, I know that, you know, as people that were younger, we're always like, <sighs> I'll figure out in a little bit, but like, I don't know, like I just feel like as someone as myself that like I, I'm i someone who I'm just like, I'm very, I, I love God so much and I want, I feel like if everyone else knew the vibes, like he's mad cool. And I just feel like people just, I don't know, people get a definitely wrong perspective of him for sure. But yeah, just give him a chance. Give him a little chancey chance. Yeah, he's mad cool. For real, like honestly, like no, I'm even, I'm even trying to be funny. I'm even trying to be funny. He's very, very cool people for sure. Anyways, that's it. That is it. I really, really, really enjoyed filming this video, even though it's late, but it's really, really, really enjoyable for me. I hope you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Do me that lovely, lovely favor and subscribe to my channel. I have to go use the bathroom now, so I'm gonna go. I literally. I heart you guys so much. And I wanna, I, I'm gonna, I can't wait till we grow and flourish and there's just more, more subscribers. Really excited about that. I will see you all in my next video. Like, comment, and subscribe. Bye. Ah, 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 ah.